Hey, welcome to the J Pop Test Kitchen. I just popped off the dopest, cheesiest, spiciest. Unless you don't like spicy, then it's not too spicy. It's actually a perfect ratio of spicy popcorn you've ever imagined. You've got to make this. If you're looking for a healthy snack, wrong video. Today we're gonna be making some jalapeno cheddar popcorn. This is one of my go-to recipes when I'm feeling super lazy. This whole popcorn I make in like eight minutes tops. Let's go, let's pop off, baby. First things first when you're making popcorn, you gotta turn these little bad boys into the popped version of these little bad boys. I'm gonna set this bad boy over here cause I'm done with it. Throw the lid on this jar. See, it was a jar and now it's a jar, but closed. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh that's gonna be a cool noise. <laughs> gonna throw about a half cup of canola oil here. You could always use grapeseed oil or any neutral oil. Next, I'm gonna grab my cheddar. I've got this little fine mesh sieve. I'd recommend dusting your cheddar powder through this bad boy into the oil. So some people when they're cooking like to clean up as they go. Uh, I would say don't do that for this because you're just gonna have powdered stuff all over the place. Just save it for the end and give it one fell swoop onto the floor and then you'll be good to go. Jerry. All right, next we're gonna grab our <laughs> pure ground jalapeno. I'm gonna end up giving it the same treatment with the, the mesh sieve. If you can't easily find jalapeno powder, most stores have a chipotle powder or even smoked paprika, and you can easily sub that in for this recipe and make like a, a chipotle cheddar popcorn. You know, I usually do about a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half, depending on how cranked I'm feeling. I've also got this lime powder here. I think it's basically just citric acid. Citric acid, lime oil, lime juice, maltodextrin non-GMO, no preservatives, gluten-free. Different lime powders can vary greatly in flavor, so make sure you're a little cautious with this as well. This one will, we will, we will rock you if you're not careful with it. I'm just gonna do a little, uh, boop. It's just about like 10 finger taps of lime with the, uh, the little holes. All right, so first garlic powder, just, you know, dump a bunch of that in there. And then for my onion powder, my onion powder has been clumping, so I'm just gonna throw it right up, oh, right in the sieve. And yeah, as you can see, I'm so glad I didn't clean the table earlier because look at that, more onion powder. It's gonna go straight on the floor. Cheers. All right, and with, uh, with any savory or spicy recipe, I always like to just do a little fresh cracked pep. That fresh crack gives it like a nice little burst of fragrance and freshness. And with that, I'm just gonna mix the sauce. I like to do it over the bowl, cause then if I'm uh, a little overzealous on my stirs uh, and a little goes over the side, it's just right in the popcorn. Oh wow, I wish you could see this sauce. I'm about to drink it. Then we're just gonna drizz, little spiral motion. Then we're just gonna shake it so like all the popcorn picks up the sauce in the bottom. Now I'm just sprinkling it with kosher salt, whatever your favorite kind of salt is. Just put so much that half the people in the room are like, that is way too salty. I don't want that. And then you get to have more popcorn. Uh, and that's it, really. All you, if you want, if you want to be all fancy and stuff, you could slice up some fresh chives, sprinkle those on there, give it a little bit of color, a little bit of pop, a little freshness. We did it. I can't even walk away from the bowl. Get this fruit out of here. Popcorn time. Oh. This is so good, you could drop every piece on the floor. You scoop up off the floor and you get all the debris in there because you never clean your house or sweep or anything. Cheers. Still be good. Oh, you see that catch too? 
it makes you better at catching. It makes you a world-class athlete, like me.